Right, we've seen a lot of rocket launches from Vandenberg Air Force Base, but did you know there's actually a whole behind-the-scenes world of meteorologists that play a vital role? And I actually had the chance to learn the in and outs of what those meteorologists do. Here's my exclusive look into their control room. We have RD-180 ignition, and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket here. The sound rattles houses. The light fills the sky. The liftoff of an Atlas V rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base. The first Atlas V launch was back in 2002. Since then, the rocket has delivered 19 national security missions, eight science and exploration satellites, three commercial flights, and two resupply missions to the International Space Station. Our altitude is 133 miles downrange. To get these rockets into space, 38 knots at an altitude of 42,000. A team of meteorologists at Vandenberg Air Force Base called the Launch Weather Team is on duty. Meteorology is critical. Uh, as a launch weather officer, we are one of the three entities that can actually call a go or no go. Perfect. Awesome. Keeping an eye on weather, not just near the ground, but in the upper atmosphere along the flight path. Uh, we're monitoring it up to three, three days before, 24 hours a day, making sure that everything is ready and green for launch to ensure safe passage of not only the rocket, but also the delivery of the payload. Data comes from sources ranging from other military installations and the National Weather Service, but most importantly, from their own instruments used on base, such as weather balloons. We release balloons from the building outside, and they're on a schedule determined by the lead launch weather officer. On a normal day, only two of these huge balloons are launched. When there's a mission, that number can go up to five, ten, or even more. When he says release, you just let go with this hand and it will pull it out of your hand. Don't don't drop it or toss it or anything. Okay. It'll just go out naturally. I had the honor of releasing okay. this one just hours before a scheduled launch day. Five, four, three, two, one, release the balloon. Perfect. And up into the sky go different instruments we'll recording temperature and wind speeds every 100 feet. Winds are all pretty consistent up here, a little bit crazy down below. Measurements are taken from the ground all the way up to the edge of space where the balloon finally bursts. So the balloon can go, um, as far as I've seen so far, up over 100,000 feet. The instrument pack makes its way back down with the aid of a parachute. Comes back down, the balloon will probably be in pieces. It may or may not still be attached to. These meteorologists study and analyze the data collected, which helps determine if the launch will happen on time, be delayed, or even scrubbed. Sometimes the launch weather team will send up an extra balloon if something breaks off the rocket or it explodes. Absolutely. We're looking for wind direction and speed specifically for any toxic uh, fumes or any type of gases that are released into the atmosphere in the event of an accident like that so that we can prepare the public and the base for anything that we're expecting to come from them. Launch days are busy for the meteorologists at Vandenberg Air Force Base, but it's not the only adventurous duty they see. We support a variety of missions from uh, the Army, infantry on the ground, jumpers, fighter jets, bombers, heavy aircraft, and as we're doing here, space launch and ballistic missile defense. Making a difference each and every single day.